Have you ever wondered why sports cars have such sleek, low-slung designs? Why Formula One cars have massive wings and why even electric vehicles are sculpted like futuristic bullets? Well, it all comes down to one crucial factor, aerodynamics. Aerodynamics isn't just about making cars look cool, it's the science of how air interacts with a moving vehicle. And believe it or not, the shape of a car can mean the difference between a gas guzzler and an energy-efficient machine. It can also determine how fast a car can go, how stable it is at high speeds, and even how much noise it makes. So let's dive into the fascinating world of car aerodynamics and how it directly affects speed and performance. Right here on History of Simple Things. Aerodynamics is the study of how air moves around objects. When it comes to cars, this translates into how air flows over, under, and around a vehicle when it's in motion. Engineers spend thousands of hours designing, testing, and refining car shapes to reduce air resistance, increase stability, and improve fuel efficiency. The key factors in aerodynamics are drag, downforce, and lift. These forces influence how a car moves through the air. The goal? Reduce the bad effects, like excessive drag, and enhance the good ones, like downforce for better grip. One of the biggest enemies of speed and efficiency is drag. Drag is the resistance a car faces as it moves forward. Think of it like swimming through water. The more resistance you have, the harder you have to work to move forward. Cars experience two main types of drag, form drag and skin friction. Form drag happens because of the car's shape. If it's boxy, like a truck, air doesn't flow smoothly around it. Skin friction, on the other hand, is caused by air rubbing against the car's surface. To reduce drag, Car designers create streamlined shapes. That's why sports cars have sloping roofs, smooth curves, and low profiles. Even small details like side mirrors and door handles are designed to keep airflow smooth and reduce unnecessary resistance. While reducing drag is great for efficiency, race cars have another problem. Keeping their wheels glued to the ground at high speeds that's where downforce comes in. Downforce is the force that pushes the car down as air moves over it. Without enough downforce, a fast-moving car could become unstable or even lift off the ground. Formula One cars, for example, generate massive amounts of downforce through wings and diffusers. These elements help create suction, literally pulling the car toward the road improving grip and allowing it to take corners at mind-blowing speeds. Road cars don't need extreme downforce, but some sports cars use spoilers and diffusers to balance speed and stability. Even the design of the underbody plays a role in managing airflow and enhancing performance. Car designers take aerodynamics seriously. Even small changes can make a huge difference. A rounded front end, for example, helps air move smoothly over the car, reducing drag. A sloped rear end prevents turbulent air from creating an air pocket that slows the car down. That's why electric vehicles, EVs, like the Tesla Model S, have smooth, minimalist designs. Unlike traditional cars that need large front grills for cooling, EVs don't require as much airflow. This allows designers to create ultra-streamlined shapes that improve efficiency and extend battery life. On the other hand, high-performance cars like Bugatti and Lamborghini balance aerodynamics for both speed and stability often using active aerodynamics, moving parts that adjust based on speed and driving conditions. 
Ever seen those futuristic videos of cars being tested in a wind tunnel? That's how engineers fine-tune aerodynamics. A wind tunnel simulates real-world driving conditions by blowing air over a car model while sensors and smoke trails reveal how the air flows. Wind tunnel testing allows designers to identify problem areas where drag is too high or where airflow isn't optimized. This is where tiny tweaks, like adjusting the angle of a rear wing or reshaping a bumper, can make a significant difference. A car that cuts through air efficiently doesn't just go faster, it also saves fuel. The less drag a vehicle has, the less energy it needs to move forward. That's why modern fuel-efficient cars like hybrids and EVs are designed with aerodynamics in mind. For instance, smooth wheel covers, narrow tires, and even retractable door handles are all designed to minimize air resistance. Some manufacturers even replace traditional side mirrors with tiny cameras to further improve airflow. You might think aerodynamics only matters for race cars, but it plays a role in everyday driving too. A well-designed car can be more stable at highway speeds, use less fuel, and even be quieter. For example, if you've ever driven with your windows down at high speeds, you've probably noticed the loud wind noise and increased resistance. That's because the open windows disrupt smooth airflow, creating turbulence and drag. Similarly, adding a roof rack or large accessories can significantly affect your car's aerodynamics and fuel efficiency. Aerodynamics is one of the most crucial aspects of car design. It affects everything from speed and stability to fuel efficiency and noise levels. Whether it's a high-performance sports car, an energy-efficient electric vehicle, or a family sedan, every car on the road is shaped by the invisible forces of air. So next time you see a sleek car zip by, take a moment to appreciate the science behind its design. The perfect balance of aerodynamics isn't just about making cars faster. It's about making them smarter, more efficient, and safer for the road ahead. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.